Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lada. If you're new here, I am so happy that you chose to watch my video today. So for today's video, we're going to be doing some real life cleaning motivation as well as touching on some groceries as well as doing a small baby clothes haul for fall and winter. So I'm super excited that you're here today. Let's get started. I'm going to be starting off in my kitchen. You guys, I have a newborn, so I have been cleaning washing bottles for days every single day, multiple times a day. This is where you'll find me, so we're going to get started on these bottles. Take down your walls and let me ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, break by break now let me ooh, ooh, ooh. I want to be right there by your side. I want to be there when you be mine. So if you're new to my channel, I just wanted to quickly introduce myself to you guys. My name is Laura. I am 26 years old. I live in Texas with my husband Brando and together we have two little girls, Leia who is four and Amelia who is one month old. Yes, she's a newborn. Um, and mostly on my channel you'll find a lot of cleaning motivation simply because I just find myself cleaning every single day and this is like the perfect example of a video, like a typical video for you guys. I love doing real life stuff and showing real life messes. So if you are interested, consider subscribing. It would totally help my channel out. Thank you. Okay, so this is a grocery haul of what we got for the week. So I'm going to start here. Um, our store, HEB, has these meal simples. They're just basically like pre-packaged meals. Sometimes you just have to put them in the microwave or, um, for example, these are mostly for like the oven. And Brando likes to get these because we do have a newborn, so sometimes it's hard to make meals. So that's what we got. Um, we also got some potatoes because I think Brando's going to make some beef stew. Um, hopefully we have time to do that. And then we also got some sweet tea. Leia loves sweet tea. And then we got some ground beef as well. Leia also loves salami. So we got some salami. And these Quest chips are for her mostly because well, it was just a small bag. She likes these a lot. And then we got some seasonings and we got some chili because I'm going to make chili dogs. I love those. They're so good. So we also got some prepackaged ham. Usually we don't get the prepackaged one, um, but it's just easier sometimes to order. So I just got that. And then I also got some um, hot dogs. And then I got these Quest bars, which I've never tried before. At least I've not, I haven't tried this um, flavor. So we'll see how that is. And then I also got some queso fresco. We got some Hot Pockets as well. Like I said, we have a newborn, so sometimes it's hard to make meals. So this is just like a just in case, something easy and simple to make. Um, I've never tried these Brazi Bites. They're kind of like that Brazilian bread that they give you at the restaurants. So I want to see how those are and see if they're any good. And then I also got some of the spicy chicken burgers. So next, I thought these were really interesting. They are like chocolate muffins made with vegetables. So I'm going to see if Leia will eat them because sometimes it's really hard to get her vegetables in. So I'm going to see how these are. I also and got some hot dog know. buns for the chili dogs. And then I also got some fruit cups for Leia, raisins. Um, this is yogurt. And then we got just some right over here. I got some cereal. I love eating cereal. So this is good. And then we also got some of this like a yogurt that you can also just got like, drink. Some cilantro to make with the beef stew. We got some milk, some apples, Leia loves them. We got peaches. I don't even know if peaches are in season anymore, but we'll see if they're any good. And then I got an avocado. We also got some berries, bananas, and just like cleaning stuff. We just got some sponges and some of these like little cloths to clean with. So that is just an overview of everything that we got. We're gonna go ahead and head into Leia's room here. Um, so ever since having my second little girl, Leia's room has kind of gotten out of hand a little bit. I was really good at cleaning it every single day, so I'm really trying to get back on track with that. I have had to settle though for a few more messes than usual. So I'm gonna go ahead and make her bed and just have it ready for the rest of the day. Um, and I'm also going to be cleaning up all the toys that she has left out. Leia likes to take out everything when 
when she plays and sometimes it's great because she uses a lot of her imagination but at the same time it does leave a really big mess for me and mostly she does help me clean it and sometimes she'll just do it all on her own she loves to organize but on this particular day she wasn't home so I just went ahead and just did it for her just so I didn't have to go through like all of that so we're just gonna go ahead and tackle this mess I need you tonight Together we can go crazy We can put out the lights Together we can go, we can go I look straight in your eyes And everything is so hazy It is just you and I And everything is so, thing is so So call me out, call me out, baby let me know if you guys are also doing a little bit of decluttering or organizing around your home. I definitely love doing that. And here, that's kind of what I was doing in her room was kind of taking a couple of toys out that I would like to donate or try to sell or stuff like that, just to simply make room for all those new things that she's possibly going to be getting. Um, <laughs> so I really do like to do that. I did it last year and it definitely worked out to my advantage. There is something so satisfying about cleaning Leia's room. I love cleaning her room. Um, once it's clean, I just find it so gratifying. And I think she feels the same way because sometimes she'll be at like her grandma's house and then she comes home and she goes into her room and it's kind of almost like a surprise for her finding everything really organized. And I just love that reaction. So let me know if your kids also feel the same way. Estás, mami, te quería preguntar Como remix si estás, mami Estás para los demás Mi amor, no pares Que te hicieron Significa que tu cuerpo también me han contado que a ti te gusta el lento o sea el proceso me imagino lo otro también cuando te va a ver hace mucho fue que me disfruto y eres más que yo la vida está para So I just wanted to go ahead and pop in and show my face on camera for a little bit and just let you guys know that I do have a little mini haul for uh, Amelia. So I wanted to show you guys what I have gotten so far for fall clothes. I'm sure you guys can agree with me that it's so much fun shopping for babies sometimes more than like yourself. At least that's how I feel about it. So um, let me show you guys what all I have. So I did find a few sleepers for Amelia, but they are actually in the washer right now, so I'm not going to show you guys that, but I do have a couple of cute little outfits for fall. So this is from Target, and it's just like a burnt orange onesie with tiny little white polka dots on it, which I thought was so cute, just for like an outing or maybe even for like Thanksgiving and stuff like that. And it actually came with some little denim pants, and I thought that was super, super cute for like a little outfit. And if you want something like a little bit more dressy, it also came with this cute little floral blouse and I thought that was so cute and I'm actually buying mostly everything three months because my baby is so long. You guys, she is a ham. She is so cute. So I am going to go ahead and start purchasing three months, three to six months even so that it can actually fit her for like a longer time instead of just buying like newborn stuff. 
So those are the first couple of pieces. And then this one I thought was really cute. It's not like a cheetah print. It just kind of looks more like a, I don't even know. <laughs> it kind of looks like a cheetah print, but not really. It's just more like a regular animal print sort of. And it's like a darker burnt orange with like black polka dots sort of on it. And I thought that was super cute as well. This one is in zero to three months. So it is a little smaller. It's more snug on her, but it will probably fit her for like the rest of the year maybe <laughs> we'll see actually ended up picking up some pants for her these are in the three months so i love baby clothes that has like animals on it i think it's super super cute and i mean this could totally be like for boys as well and i like these so much they're so cute i just love the little elephants on it and the giraffes it's adorable and that was a two pack so it came with this little um pant as well and then I also picked up this little sleeper for Christmas. I thought it would be so cute for Christmas morning, but now I'm thinking, I don't know if I got the right size because this is a three month sleeper and I'm looking at it and I just feel like it's a little small. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I should go back and see if they have like a three to six maybe, but this is really cute. It's just got a little reindeer on it and it has little like footsies as well. So cute. This is from Target. And then I do have, I think I have like a jacket or two for her for like um, the winter. I say like this because we live in Texas and we barely have a winter. So I still went ahead and picked her up this cute little jacket. And it's just like a dusty rose pink sort of. And it's just got a little zipper. This is three to six months. So this will probably fit her a little bit big, but it'll last her longer I think and it was so cute because it actually came with a little hat that is so adorable if you've seen Amelia she has like a full set of hair so I feel like that just might be enough but just in case it gets really cold she's got this to cover her as well and then it also came with some cute little mittens I thought that was such a cute little set and I think they also have this in white I'm not sure and then my best friend, she also went ahead and got her some clothes. This is not going to fit her until next summer, but it's perfect because the colors are super, super cute and summery. I love this one. Auntie is a zest. I love that. So adorable. And then this was probably my favorite. It's just a cute little like onesie with some pineapples on it. And my best friend is like obsessed with pineapples. She just loves it. I don't know why, but she just does. So that's so cute. And the last one is this one, which I thought was adorable. I love babies in yellow. I think it's so cute. So this one says, I look up to auntie and I just love it so much. And these are all six to 12 months. So this will fit her perfectly for the summer. They are perfect summer colors as well. And this is all from Old Navy, by the way. So that was just a cute little mini haul that I wanted to share with you guys. Let's get back to cleaning. So on this particular day, my bedroom actually didn't need too much cleaning or organizing. Um, I was just going to go ahead and fold up this um, blanket here and don't worry, I'm not crazy. I'm talking to Brando here at this moment. He was so nice to just kind of accompany me while I did the video. So I'm putting that away and I also noticed that the dresser up here was really dusty and sometimes you can't tell until you're actually like looking at it up close and um, there were just a couple of things up here that I wanted to take down first and then start wiping everything down. You stare into my eyes and it makes you wonder Is she the one I'll take home? I stare right back at yours and it makes me wonder Why is he here all alone? I love going out to where the music's too loud And where the people surround me Yeah
So now we're going to be moving on into the living room really quick. So I feel like I'm always wiping down this chair, but it's because my dog is always, this is where she like sleeps and this is where she naps and hangs out all the time. And she lets off a lot of hair for such a short haired dog. She truly does. So I'm wiping that down and I'm pretty much just going to be wiping down a bunch of things in here. Um, I'm also going to be wiping down Leia's um, tablet because that is always getting so much on it. Like all these like little fingerprints food. Yeah, it's just a mess. So I'm going to be wiping that down as well. So there was a lot of dust and hair, like dog hair and like food crumbs all over this table. You just can't really tell on camera, but it was so messy. So I also went ahead and wiped that down. I don't know, something about wiping down things. It's, I don't know, it's like kind of like doing like a clean slate sort of. It's just super, super satisfying for me. So that's pretty much what I did here is just wipe down a bunch of different things and it just felt like a good reset. It's getting late but I'm only getting started And now they're playing my song You look at me and think that she's broken hearted But you could not be more Ever since having a newborn, it has been super difficult for me to um, kind of get used to the fact that like nothing is ever going to stay clean. I mean, that's always the way it's been even before the newborn, <laughs> um, before I mean, like came home. So um, it's just kind of something that I'm getting used to. So for example, like vacuuming this rug, oh my gosh, like I was so good at doing this. I would do it like twice a day and it was great. But now I swear to you guys, I think this is like probably the second time I vacuum ever since bringing Amelia home and it's been really hard to get used to it and accept it but that's just reality and I'm learning to be okay with it. And for the last part of this video, I'm going to quickly just um, go ahead and sweep up my kitchen floor. This also gets super, super dirty and it's been highly neglected again, just because I've been so busy with that like newborn life. Um, so that is the end of today's cleaning motivation video. It was full of real life stuff and I hope you guys truly enjoyed today's video as well as the motivation. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon.